Today I'm going to show you one of the most complicated builds I've ever done. The LED matrix circuit. Now because I don't have an Arduino, I've used this Mega 2560 which is Arduino compatible and hooked up uh, about, I have no idea how many wires. They're all on this breadboard so they're easily accessible to connect to the LED matrix. As you can see, there's a lot of wires here, and I'll show you how to hook them all up. An LED matrix is wired up pretty strange. Each LED is not wired up individually. They're wired in columns and rows. Now, usually the ground connections are one of those columns or rows, but as you can see here, I've connected these four ground pins to four other ground pins, and then to one central ground that runs to this wire to the Arduino or Arduino compatible microcontroller. Now every single wire is connected to the matrix. Now, because this is just a beginner circuit to test out an LED matrix, I've wired up each LED in columns. The rows are connected to ground. As you can see, there's eight rows and eight columns. Each column has three LEDs in them. They're all different colors. In this case, there's a red, a green, and a blue in each of these dots in the matrix. Those are all these wires. The central wire is just all the rows connected together, which is connected to the ground. Okay, so as you can see here, this is initializing all the pins as output pins. Pins 30 through 53, digital pins. Now down here in the void loop section, you can see there's a lot of digital write functions. Each digital write tells a certain pin to turn on or off, and then it waits 250 milliseconds. So you can see here, in an example in this part, this is telling pin 30, turn on, and then wait. Then another digital write program tells that same pin to turn off, and the next one to turn on. And that continues on down the line with pins 31 through 53. And then at the end, I added this large delay. This is so that when the LED matrix is finished running its program, it will wait three seconds till it does it again. That way, you could probably get everyone in the room to start seeing it the next time it goes. That's just an example, though. I'm not sure that will actually happen. Okay, so now that we've seen how the sketch works, let's go ahead and add either 5 volts or 9 volts to the Mega Compatible and flip on the power. And as you can see, the matrix starts flashing. That's because the code we assigned tells each part to turn on and off. Now you can vary this either by changing the code or just swapping out the pins in different arrangements because they're on an external part. So that's the LED Matrix Mega. You can do this with pretty much any LED matrix. Just takes a little time soldering all these wires in. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back in a couple weeks, upload another one.